Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to walk through how to use the new auto number feature. So for this example, I'm in a demo environment and I'm going to show you how we're going to add an auto number field for the contact entity. And you could use this really on about any entity, depending on um, how you want to use it. Uh, you know, it could be a custom entity as well. So we're going to use the out of the box contact entity and we're going to do this in the maker portal. So I'm in my sales hub right now. I've got a different tab open and I've gone to make.powerapps.com. And as soon as I jump in here, it's going to take me to my home page. I want to make sure that I jumped into the correct environment. Um, again, and I say this in other videos, if you've got a dev or production environment, just make sure you're working in the correct one up front before you do any work. And then either jump into a solution if you're working within a solution or go right into the table if uh, you're not going to be moving your work to another solution. So I'm going to jump into the table, formerly known as entities. And we're going to look for our contact entity. Now, up here, I've got my filter set to all. If yours is set to default, you may not be seeing all of your tables or entities. So you may want to switch that and then you can just do a search right here. So once you find the table, I'm going to go into it. And now I've got my list of columns. So uh, these are all the fields essentially that live on the form. And I want to create a auto number field. You could use an existing field if it's a text field also, for example. Uh, but I'm going to jump in. I'm going to create a new field. And as soon as I hit add column, I'm going to get this small window that pops up on the side. And I'm going to say this is the contact number. Okay, so now it's going to populate my schema and I want to come in and change my data type to auto number. So we'll hit auto number. Uh, we'll leave this as optional for now. It's searchable. And now we've got an auto number type. So we got a, these fields here are these options here, I should say, are all going to be a part of this data type. So I've chosen auto number. Now I want to determine what do I want that to look like? Do I want um, a prefix number, um, or a string prefix number, a date prefix number, or a custom? So if a, a string prefix number, now I've got my uh, digits set to four, I could say test um, followed by four digits. So this is what that's going to look like. Gives you a preview. I could change that to CRM. Um, so just give you an idea there. A date prefix number is going to uh, throw the date in front of that along with that four digit number. So if I change it to six, um, you can see how that would then change to a six digit number. So I can also change my date format. So I have year, month, date. I could change it to month, day, year, so on and so forth. Um, so however you uh, would prefer to do that if this is the format you choose. My third option there is to go with a custom format. So you can see it's going to um, add the date in here followed by um, a six number format. And, and, and you could go in then and really um, configure this to whatever you want. So you, it's going to add some additional options so I can add um, a random string to it. So now it added another random string to the back. So a couple different options. Um, so we're just going to stick with the string prefix number. We're going to call this CRM with, we'll say five. Um, so here we're, we're allowing ourselves to roll all the way up to 99,999 before it rolls back over again. So we'll go ahead and click done. And now we want to save this table. And from here, we're going to have to go and add this quickly to the form. So once this saves, we'll jump into the new form designer also in the maker portal. And I'll show you what that looks like. So here we'll, we'll change gears. We'll go over to form. We're just going to grab the main contact form here, as you can see. So I'll click that and jump into the form. And as this opens up, it's going to give me the layout of this particular form. And from the left, I want to go in and I want to look for the field that I just created. So um, I've got it set to default. We can find it a little bit easier by uh, flipping our filter to custom. And there's my contact number. And let's just throw this over here. 
um, and landed down at the bottom. Let's move it up a little bit and I didn't place that very well. Uh, so we'll put it right below the name. So now I've, I've put that in here and we're going to um, also, uh, no, you know what, I'm gonna leave these, these the same. We'll just go ahead and save it, um, make it simple here. And as soon as it saves, we'll publish the form and then we'll be able to go and see what that looks like. So there's our save. And we'll quickly publish here. All right, perfect. Much easier to um, save and publish here. So um, we can jump back out of it and take us back into the contact table. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip over to my other tab and let's just refresh this here. I probably have to give it two refreshes because that seems to be the case typically with me. No, I got lucky there. All right, so we're going to create a new contact now. Um, so we'll say test, test three. I don't have any other required fields in this demo environment. We'll give that a save. All right, and there we go. So we've got our uh, auto number populated. We could have made this required. We could have locked it so that a uh, user couldn't obviously go in and change it. And you can do that all from that same form. Uh, but this is just uh, uh, meant to be a quick video just to show you how to create it. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.